Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa, and today I'm gonna to be working on these fun pockets from Roxy's Challenge. Um, I'm coming to you in the beginning here to show you what I did during this video um, for um, all of the finished um, products that we made, just to show you um, the fun stuff that we're gonna be doing um, and something to look forward to. So um, the pages are part of a signature, so they go inside of um, my, my book page. They go inside of a uh, signature, wrap around, or they could uh, literally be put on um, a page and do a wrap around tuck, but um, they are meant for signatures. It's one of uh, Roxy's weekly challenge. Um, so this is this one. The um, They work really well with printed uh, pages and um, more document kind of pages. So this one I finished and um, decorated. And this one, also a sunflower that I finished and decorated the documents and the sunflower page. Added some washi tape to them. That was fun. All right, here's another one that I worked on. Some flowers, some more documents. Did a little bit of decorating on these. Now I didn't fully decorate them because I'm not sure where they're gonna go, what journal they're gonna go, so I'm not sure if they're gonna need um, what they're gonna need. Uh, here's another one. Don't believe I did this one on camera. I believe I did this one separately. Um, some pretty pinks and purple colors. And I also, I know I, did, no, I didn't do this one on camera. Uh, this actually uses my um, advertising um, sheets. I actually have them uh, as freebies in my coffee account. Um, the link is in the description uh, where you can go there and download um, these uh, to use. Some fun colors. I like the juxtaposition of this uh, grungy kind of uh, numbers um, with the pretty soft floral. So yeah, I thought this one was pretty cool. All right, so the other ones I did, I don't think I just, yeah, these I did not decorate. I have this one. Um, I did do this one on camera. It's one of the first ones I ended up doing. Um, so I didn't ha quite have the um, way to fold them. Later in the video, I, I figured out how to fold them properly. Um, but this bird is kind of peeking around the corner. But he looks fine this way. And she did just kind of weird this way. I would have done it a little different if I did it later in the video. But I like this huge uh, wording. Uh, with the uh, bird, that was cool. I did throw that on there, I should say, as a decoration. It was kind of laying on my desk, um, so I thought it was um, a great color. It's more washi tape. And then I have uh, this one. Again, just a, a digital, kind of a random thing with some uh, document with words. Um, I thought it kind of folded very cool with the uh, Lady Liberty and Empire State Building um, for that. Words and pictures, so I thought that was cool. And then uh, finally this one where I used a floral print with more of an advertisement. Um, so definitely the juxtaposition of um, words and flowers. So that was kind of cool. And I thought that washi tape was neat and had dots on it. So I'm match the paper. So, all right. Well, there is my handful of stuff that I did. And um, probably my favorite. <laughs> Put that one on top. Um, so hang in, uh, hang on, and you will see how we make these. All right, let's get started on making these insert page signature pockets. Um, so what I have pulled together is um, a bunch of papers, digitals that I've printed um, that I just have um, um, some, some great patterns on there, um, just random kind of stuff. Um, that I thought would be uh, good for uh, half of it. And then I printed um, the other part, which is just uh, generic -y kind of print stuff. Um, nothing fancy that can go as the contrast. Because it seems to me, um, when I was watching um, it done, um, the more of a contrast you have um, between the um, two pages, um, the better. So, all right, so I think I'll just might as well start with Le Cardinal here hit the rest of the side and pick a generic -y page to go with it. Um, let's see. There is some. What shall we have for dinner? <laughs> no. oh, might as well start with something. Something fun and big, right? 
might actually be too short. I'll have to see. That could be a fun one, too. Move that to the top. All right, so eventually we're going to have to cut it down. But I think I'll probably end up gluing it, like, and then cutting it after so I know it goes to there. And let's cut it first. All right, I'm going to get rid of this. I can always add that as a, you know, decoration. All right, that's going to be pretty good. I'll just have to chop a little off um, out of that. So, all right, get that out of the way. Okay, so what we need to do is determine which one we want on the top, which one we want underneath. I think I want that on the top because that's not as descript. So we're going to put that on top. So I'm going to add a little glue to this part here because that will be on the bottom. And now that I turn it over, yeah, this side here because that will be, whoops, right off the page because this will be on the top. Okay, I think the hardest part with this is to line them up straight. After I, fold, after I fold it, I'll go and uh, chop that part off. So, Okay, so the next step we do is we're going to fold um, each end um, a little bit in. And it gives room for uh, when we fold it into be a pocket that it is not, um, we glue it here so there's more room inside the pocket. And we'll just glue this, put that to the side, and we're just snipping it in a little bit so that there is no bulk when it folds. Okay. All right. So the first one we do, we're going to fold it in to be at pocket size, leaving some of it on the front. Okay. And then we're going to fold it so we know where the center is. And then we're going to fold this. I should have done it the other way. That poor bird. That poor bird. Okay, well, live and learn. That poor board's gonna have to wrap itself around. <laughs> He's peeking through. He's okay. He'll be fine, as they say. All right. So we're gonna leave a space in the center because this is where the signature gets sewn in, and we don't want the extra bulk there. All right, so once we have determined the pocket size, we're gonna go throw a little bit of glue on here and on the bottom to make it a pocket. We'll do the same with this side. And we'll make it a pocket. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and Snip that because it was the wrong size, as we remember. And we're just gonna take that off, and it's a little off on the bottom. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Oop. There we go. Quite a lot of folds in the center there. Alright, so this ended up being about 8 inches tall, which is a beautiful size for a um, signature. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put holes in the top for thumb holes. And we'll try to center them. You can fold them together um, and snip them. Uh, it gets a little hard sometimes if you have a really small uh, place for this. Um, so this pocket is about 3.5, so probably about a 3 inch tag will fit in there with a little birdie sticking out. Cute. Um, and then if you want to um, go ahead and ink them, you can do that. Um, I did um, decide to go back and ink the inside here where it's kind of white. Probably won't, aren't, isn't going to be seen too much because it'll be blocked inside of the signature. Um, but just in case a little bit shows up, I uh, figured I'd ink that part. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Uh, what I decided to do on these two is where this is joined to put a little bit of uh, washi tape. I thought that would be a fun thing to put on there. So let's, I have these butterflies. These would be fun. Yeah, they'd be fun. And I'm not really, I'm not using it for, what would you say, um, strength. It's just more decoration since there's such a uh, definitive line. That'd be kind of cool to put a little washi, but don't call washi tape there. Just, uh, just to add a little bit something to there. Yeah. All right, and like I said, if you wanna, probably won't, I might just put, uh, Go to deck. I got boy. I got glue. Um, <laughs> uh, go to decorate. Maybe put some sort of label there. Um, and this could be kind of cute here. I I like that. Um, oops, gonna snip the corners. Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Do -da, do -da. <laughs> um, so I might not decorate all these as we go here just because um, I'm not sure where they're going to go inside of uh, journals or whatever. I'm just making some to have on hand as they say. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. That butterfly's coming down. Cute. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over there. If I want to add something to block him or just leave him because we know he's existing <laughs> there. I don't know. Now, if you didn't want to add these as a um, uh, signature, um, you could always do it as a wraparound page. Of course, I probably am going to just use our glue book, um, a wraparound page, um, and you can go ahead and um, not clip it, um, uh, the thing, you can glue them there and have side tucks. Uh, that would work also. Or just um, glue the bottom and have more of a, you know, place to put it. But, um, yeah, if you want to keep it as a um, on a page and still put stuff inside, you could do that and just uh, glue this down and still maybe um, have some sort of tuck in there. So um, definitely versatile. Um, I am creating them to have um, signatures. Um, I do think it's kind of fun to have different size. Um, in the True Junk Journal, none of the pages are the same. Um, they're all different sizes. So to have these in there big and small would be kind of fun. So, all right, well, let's see if we can make another one because that was fun. All right, this is so pretty. I think I'm gonna start with that, but maybe we can stop and think how it's gonna fold. This could be fun, quite juxtapositional there. It's gonna be much bigger though too, so let's do that. I think I want the locks to show and we can get rid of the music, so let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the bottom. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll put this one on the top. Now, if you don't have digitals, um, you can definitely use scrapbook paper. Um, since the, these are, they started out as eight and a half by 11, but the, um, uh, my digitals mostly print with white on the border, so I have to cut them down. So they are, hello, like eight and a quarter by about 11 and a quarter. So probably cut about a quarter inch off of them. Okay. Alright, this is going to be a nice size big one, so we're going to fold the side in. You can never do this side gracefully, <laughs> the way the arm has to turn. And then we're going to fold this side in. I just got triangles galore all over the place. Okay, so, all right, 
I want that more to show. We probably want that to go there. That'll pull over. That'll work. Okay, so we don't want it to go much more than five and a half. Because that will stick out for a full page. So we're going to fold that in half. That'll be a fun page. We're going to fold that in half. So that'll be a fun page. Not as fun of a page. <laughs> okay, let's try it the other way. So basically what I'm trying to do, I don't think I mentioned that, is I want to go past the fold on one of them so that the back side has, um, or one of the sides, has both pages together um, in, a, in a page. So, all right, that is about, that's about five and a quarter. Let's try that. That works well. I just got some extra, extra folds in there, but I think they'll be fine. Okay. part here just to get rid of that white um, now if you wanted to do scrapbook paper um, you, you don't you definitely don't have to waste the double-sided for it because like I said the only part you see of the back is just this little center part um, where the fold is so I wouldn't want I wouldn't waste uh, double-sided scrapbook paper but single-sided would definitely work cut it down to like I said, close to eight and a half by 11. And you can get it to work. Okay, I'm gonna stop inking because you know what it looks like to be inking. I'm thinking, you know how I'm inking. Okay, so let's, let's us glue these pages together. This one is so pretty. I have, uh, one of my upcoming journals, I, it's going to be a sunflower journal. I've got, uh, I've got a kit that I uh, recently got, so um, this was part of it. And I thought, oh, it would be pretty to do as these pockets. So I printed them, and I was right. I have another idea for something um, that I think using vellum, but I think I'm going to pr print that on vellum too. That is really pretty. Okay, so now that we got those glued, probably should have did this first. I always seem to do that second, and then I got to cut through glue, but they're not, they're not that off. I don't think I'm really cutting through glue. But just, there we go. Just enough to get them to go straight. And then we'll do the okay. Yeah, cute. Look at that. That is adorable. That'll be great to decorate. That'll be great to decorate. That'd be pretty on its own, maybe a label. So all right. Let's make some more. This is fun. <laughs> all right. Let's see, what do we got here? I don't know if I want to do another sunflower, a squirrel, a box. Let's see, this could be fun. I don't think I have anything green. That one. Let's do this one. That could be fun to 
together. Or do I want to put some words? That could be fun with that one. Okay, we'll save that for that one. And we'll put this with this one. Okay. All right, so keep that on the top, cut right below there. Okay. I'll cut it a little short. Okay, I'll just glue it in the center and then I'll cut, I'll have to cut the top and bottom. Okay. All right, so I want that on top. Let's do that. Okay, so we are going to put some glue. I forgot to put the pin in. There we go. Put that on top. You on the bottom and see if I can track down my glue. It's nice there was a line on here. <laughs> I can make sure it was straightish. <laughs> seconds anyway okay I don't know why I try to put this pin in without my glasses on <laughs> okay yeah this is gonna be cute okay so then we're gonna fold the two ends for the pockets That's a little better. Okay. Get a little better at getting these to go in the right spot. This is just practice. Yeah, I like that on that side. That's cool. Okay. Let's chop this so I don't have to go through the glue on this one. I definitely left a little bit more of a center on that one, but that's okay. All right, pin back in the glue. All right, 
cards. There we go. So far, one, two, three, three made. All right, so let me see. Hey, uh, pause the video for a moment, clean this up. Oh, I want to get the, let me get the washi tape on there. What could be fun? What could be fun? What could be fun? Words that match is too much. Too much. Let's do something fun like. Yeah, to that that'll be fun. There's some blue in there. Maybe green. Yeah, let's do it. Really, I'm trying to be less matchy matchy on things. Does they usually work out? I like it. Okay. All right. So that part's done. Get my triangles out of the world here. And okay. So let's pause this video. Like I said, I'm going to get a little bit cleaned up and see how we can uh, go ahead and decorate these. I will be right back. All right. So I glued a few more while I was gone. Get ready to decorate. I glued this one. Very cute. I like that one. And then I glued this one pretty neutral um, and I finally got the hang of I think how to do it so I just I wanted to come back and do one more um, just to show you um, how to confidently do it all right so I glued the main digital to a smaller digital um, that was up and down and cut it off to be even I have glued it because more you glue okay I probably should have done this so we're gonna do the two side fold overs And then this one. Okay, so uh, what I have learned is if you take the bigger side and you fold that to um, about the four inches or so and get your main picture that you want on there, and that's why I did this one here. We'll get the main picture on this one. Could go a little bit more if I wanted to. This is about four and a quarter. I think I might go a little bit more. Uh, don't overlap the fold. Okay, and then when you do that, that straight the first time did I <laughs> there we go okay um, then when you do that you fold it in half to get the center and we're gonna go here and put this to the center leaving a little bit of gap for the signature then you have a nice split on the other page yeah, look how cute this one is. Holy cow, that's adorable. Another one of that sunflower kit I have that I'm going to be making, so. So cute. I definitely like this juxtaposition of the kind of document and photo. down okay I think I'll straighten this bottom a little oh and doesn't look too bad
notch, notch, notch it. Okay, and I um, already decided to do uh, this washi tape because I thought it matched that color great. It brings that over to this side, very fun. Again, not matchy-matchy, but coordinating. Accentuating. Yeah. Okay. Again, not necessary, truly de decorative. Yeah. Well, this one is definitely cute. I like it. All right, so we'll get a little bit of ink on the center white here just to hide that whenever it goes into a seam. Okay, well, let's see if I can throw a little decoration on this one. Boom. Okay. All right, so what have we got? What have we got? What do we got to work on? That could be pretty. I'm finding ones I like that aren't cut out yet, but that'll be easy enough to tear. All right, that could probably be one of those should work. A couple of those should work, All right? All right, let's see what we got here. I do like her on this side here. I think I'm gonna snip the corners and ink her a bit. Just to get rid of that digital look. That seems to be poking out. Now, I'm probably not going to over decorate these because I don't exactly know where they're going. So I'm going to leave a bit of uh, interpretation, but a bit of leeway to. Yeah, I like those colors together. A bit of leeway to add some stuff later. Um, um, when it, it goes into his journal and it wants to, wants to be on its page. I don't know what it wants to be, how it wants to be decorated. I definitely like these colors, so. Let's see how it looks inked up a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, let's screw that on. Yeah, cute. Oh, shoot. Went over the fold. 
That was not, that was called not paying attention. We saw. Technically, it's going into the into the signature. We're not going to see this paper necessarily, so I think I'm going to try to get it off just because we don't want the bulk. Okay, didn't cut through, there we go. Okay, okay, note to self, fold these before you decorate. Because that definitely should have been over farther. Looked good there. <laughs> that luckily looks good. I guess I'm gonna have to probably put some sort of floral here. Let's see, I happen to have my flowers out, so. Let's see. baby scissors. All right, fast forward and cut this out. Okay, all right. I can vote a yes for this. in the glue. Yeah, cute. All right. I like it. All right. Shall we try to decorate this one? things out and inked. So I might as well try to use them. Going on 
Ba -bum -bum -bum. I think I like that. Okay, let's have a look at Fold, Lisa, do the fold. That could be kind of cool. So hopefully your weekend is going well. Mine is going good today. Making some pulled pork in the crock pot and I'm starting to smell it. <laughs> so, mm -hmm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Um, I was going to say, I forgot to say earlier, I've been uh, gone a couple days. Um, been busy helping my parents. My mom had cataract surgery. Um, and my dad is still recovering from the hip. Um, it's going very well. Um, he's getting around. He's actually driving. Because luckily it's not his right foot, it's his left hip. So he could drive. Um, but still using a walker kind of thing. So... Um, I wanted to go with them just so a little bit more support but I thought it'd be good for to go there nice later but I don't think I'm gonna put anything on there right now but that's enough for now um, so I needed a little support so I went with them to do that um, and then later that day um, I'm gonna decorate this one um, I had a call from them that their washing not washing machine their um, dishwasher is leaking all over the floor so I had to go there clean that mess up that was fun so we've been doing that and then my husband's filling up my air tires and reached around to lift himself up and realized the inside of the tire was so bald the metal was sticking out so he's like, you can't drive this car anymore. I'm like, well, that's great. I got places to go. So he took it yesterday to get tires. So that took most of my day not having a car, which was fun. Um, so I've been doing a lot of odd odds and ends kind of things running here and there to my parents house and getting stuff fixed and I like that I'm gonna do that um so yeah so it was nice to have today um even though as I say today this morning we actually had to go back to my parents again the uh hatch in the back of their car those hydraulic things was not working so they couldn't lift the back hatch of their car very well sure if I really like that there. So, I wish it was smaller. Um, they couldn't lift the back hatch of their car very well. So we had to go there and, oh, that'd be cute, um, replace the hydraulics on his car. And of course, when we get there, we try to get it on and it's not fitting. So we think we have the wrong one. So we have to drive back to the parts place and then the guy explains how it gets put on and you can shift it and twist it when it's on. So we got to go back and go and put that on. So I think I am done. should knock on wood somewhere for the weekend of doing that kind of stuff where I can actually maybe do some crafting today, tomorrow, yeah, that's cute, I still want to put something over here, that's 
is too much. Too much. Let me ink and see. So yeah, so hopefully, like I said, we'll get the get this video done. Get some pulled pork inside of me. <laughs> and play on the next video. And maybe a couple more after that. <laughs> yeah. I say that's a good weekend. When you can... Okay, we are going to have an issue here. Okay, we're going to cut that off. I was going to wrap it, but I don't think wrapping is going to... Meh, it's okay. Well, I never put some washi tape on that one. It's always a good weekend when you can craft. Okay, let's find some washi tape. I'm getting distracted by the food smell. <laughs> All right. Mm, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. What shall we be? What are you saying you want to be? You want to be... What do you want to be? I think you want to be... This one, black and white flowers. I think you do. I don't think I've ever used this one before. Cute. All right, put you down there on the birdie's tail. Yeah, kind of ties in with the black there. Yeah, that is so cute. So cute. I think I'll put some washi tape on here. Cover that mm, full paw. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay. All right, well, um, I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to film the um, uh, pictures of everything and show them at the beginning um, because knowing me, I'll probably go and decorate a few more um, of this and won't be able to show them now. So I think I'm going to do that. It covers it up too much. Oh, I like that. Okay, one last thing. One last thing, and then we're done. And so I'm going to um, film what they all look like and put it at the beginning of the video so you can see all the ones that I did. So, all right. Yes, I like it. Okay, well, that is going to be it for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it wasn't too disjointed. Like I said, I was a little out of sorts from not filming the past couple days. <laughs> a little just a little distracted, as they say. But, um, yeah, I think this is definitely going to um, uh, work out. Very cute. I love it. Um, okay, well, that's going to be it for me today. Um, if you want to see more kind of crazy little videos, I'm a little disjointed, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, I have a fun one coming up. Um, I think I'm going to use these sunflowers uh, to make some vellum uh, pockets. Um, so that should be fun. I think so. In my head, it's fun. <laughs> we'll see how it comes out in the end. Um, so subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, um, I always am up to answering those. Um, I'm always happy to hear from everybody. Um, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful and creative night. Bye now.